Hi, it's Al here from DMR, and today I'm gonna to show you how to service your DMR V12 and Versa pedals. Signs that you need to service your pedals are that you've got a lot of play in the bearings. A little tick of play is okay, but if you've noticed it increase over time, then it's time to get the service kit out. Another thing that you'd wanna service your pedals for is if the bearings are feeling rough. If they're really graunchy, then again, you're gonna to wanna to get them serviced. Whether you've got a V12 or a Versa, the tools that you're gonna need are the same. Just the service kit that changes because there's different seal arrangements in the V12 compared to the Versa. So the tools you're gonna to need are a six millimeter Allen key, a rag for cleaning, your V12 service tool, a nine millimeter thin walled socket with a driver, a torque wrench, some grease, some abrasive paper, some bearing fit, such as this 638 Loctite, and the correct service kit. Okay, let's take the pedal apart. So we've got a V12 here. This is a left-hand pedal and that will be important in a moment. So we're using our Allen key to undo the end cap. It's the same on the Versa, although it is a different end cap. Remove that. You won't be needing that because you do get a new one in your service kit. Then we're using our thin walled nine millimeter socket. And being a left hand pedal, this has got a regular thread. So you turn it anti-clockwise to undo it. On the right hand pedal, it's a left hand thread. So you need to turn it clockwise to undo it. It's very important that you remember that. We remove the nut and now we can pull the pedal body away from the axle. With the pedal apart, now's the time if you just wanted to do a service of the pedal without fitting a service kit, yeah, now's the time to do it. You can give it a good clean, re-grease it and put it back together. Once you've taken the bush out, you pass the point of no return and you do need a service kit. So we're gonna do the whole shebang here. So we're gonna take the cartridge bearing out. That just pops out with an Allen key. With the cartridge bearing out, Next, we're gonna remove the DU bush. For this, you're gonna need your V12 tool. Remove the cap and you'll reveal the threaded end. And this screws into the DU bush. It's quite tough to get it in. And this is obviously what destroys the bush. and means that once you've done this, you pass the point of no return and you will be needing that service kit. It helps to have a vise. You can mount the tool in a vise there, makes it much easier to pull the pedal out. If you don't have one, you should be able to wriggle it out, and pull the bush out of the pedal. With the pedal apart, the next thing that we're gonna do is give it a really good clean. Now, this is the same regardless of whether you've got a Versa or a V12. The only difference is that on the V12, you've got this one extra seal. The seals come in the kit, so you can get rid of those anyway. Remove those and give the pedal a really good clean. Now that everything's nice and clean, next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna check the axle. You can see on this axle, you've got a little bit of wear and some tarnishing where the pedal's been run with dirty grease. So we're gonna try and clean that up and see if we can get it so it's all good to run again. You're gonna need your abrasive paper here. Run it around the axle where the bush sits, just to clean up any of that tarnishing. Do 
give it another check. As long as there's no big pits or anything, then it'd be good to use again. Now you're ready to put your pedal back together. First thing that we're going to do is fit our new DU bush. So we're getting our V12 service tool and our DU bush. You'll see the bush has got a chamfered end. That's the end that needs to go into the pedal first. So put that on the outermost part of your tool. Before we fit it, we're getting our bearing fit. This is Loctite 638. And we're just putting a small amount of that around the bush. Then we can insert it into the pedal. Make sure that you push the bush all the way home. With the bush in place, next thing we're gonna do is fit our seals. Here you can see the difference between the Versa axle and its single seal arrangement, and the V12 and its twin seal arrangement. So we've got a large seal here that slides onto the axle and then our smaller seal that butts up against that one. With the seals in place we're going to grease up the axle so we put plenty here where the axle sits against the DU bush and then a little bit on the rest of the axle just to help stop it corroding. Taking our pedal body I'm going to drop in our cartridge bearing that just sits into the end of the pedal body and then we're fitting our axle. Next up we're going to fit the nut which holds the axle into the pedal body. Being a left hand pedal it's got a regular thread and it's the darker of the two nuts in the V12 service kit. Start that off by hand then take your socket and your allen key and we're talking that up to 10 newton meters there we go that's all secure with the axle in place we're just going to fit our end cap and add a bit of grease to the threads now get this started by hand and then finish off with our six millimeter Allen key. Tighten that down and that's the pedal complete. So all you need to do now is repeat for the other pedal and you'll be ready to ride. If you've got any questions at all, then hit us up at info at dmrbikes.com or if you need any further information, we've got loads at the website, dmrbikes.com. Thanks very much for watching and we hope to see you next time. Cheers.